Japan, I grew up there until I was five, then moved to London for my dad's work, and then lived there for three years, I think, and went back to Japan. So most of my life has been in Japan. My mum asked me what I wanted for my birthday when I was three. I was turning four and I said a violin because I just had this image of an orchestra playing in my head since I was three. So that's how I got the violin, started playing and been playing ever since. I still remember like a cello player and a violinist in an orchestra. It's like a close up of them in an orchestra playing. And I think I was able to just be passionate and continue playing for all these years because nobody ever really forced it on me and it was always my choice and I had the urge to play and it was available to me so I was able to just keep on playing and keep on loving it. And then I got into jazz and the album that really had an impact on me was um, Waltz for Debbie by Bill Evans and um, also at the same time, around the same time, I started listening to the Beatles' Rubber Soul, it's my favourite album still to this day. And for me, jazz was such a discovery because being in a classical world for 10 years, I was playing in an orchestra, playing solo, both things, and then it was such an eye-opener that something could be so structured but free and beautiful. So that album, yeah, kind of opened up a whole new door for me that it didn't have to be this written piece that had to be perfect. like. I guess listening to jazz made me realize that beauty is in the imperfections.